Canine Companions is a national nonprofit that raises and trains service dogs for people with disabilities as well as facility dogs. These dogs are given free of charge because of the gifts of our individual and corporate donors. The Puget Sound Field Office is a brand new thing. We are able to support our clients and our students specifically in this area. We are able to do their interviews in the location rather than having them have to travel to a campus. It's really hard to put into words just how valuable these dogs are to, you know, to my son and to, you know, others with disabilities. And when you've got medical kids, you know, traveling with them can, it involves an awful lot of equipment. And we were kind of waiting to be called to California. Um, and, you know, that trip would have been really big for us with, with two other kids as well. And to be able to come here and stay at home, this really made a big, big difference. We place dogs with adults and with children and with veterans that are trained specifically to do tasks to help them. What Kit does for me primarily is she helps get things for me when I drop them. For example, my glasses, things like opening doors that I have trouble with. It's such a game changer for me. Strong is going to make a huge impact as a facility dog at Kokanee. She'll be working with all of our Kodiaks, but she'll be working specifically with students on their fine motor skills, gross motor skills, um, some sensory integration things she'll be able to do. She can work on academic and cognitive skills with them as well. A lot of times students have a hard time communicating their needs or wants with adults, but it's amazing to see what they'll communicate and talk to with a dog. Canaan Companion's traditional campuses, we have six across the country, they traditionally have kennels that the dogs stay in while they're in training, they have dorms that the students stay in. Our students, they live locally, so they're able to come in for the day for the two weeks team training. We have these wonderful volunteers who foster the dogs in the evenings and the weekends. The dogs are in training during the day, they go home with these fosters during the evenings, and then they bring them back the next day for more training. For people to you know, be so selfless to donate their time and put their energy into, into these dogs, it's you know, just to, to change somebody's life is Thank you isn't, doesn't feel like enough. <laughs> I don't know that there are words for the gratitude that I have. Being able to have supplies here and an office here and people who support that here has really been helpful. The field office is a huge step in the growth of Canine Companions. It would not be possible without our donors and without the supporters in this area. It is a huge thing to see how can we better serve people where they are? How can we serve more people? How can we meet more of this need of having a service dog? I'd say a huge thank you to all of the donors and sponsors who made the Puget Sound Field Office possible. It's had a huge impact on me. I've seen the impact on my classmates as they're receiving facility and service dogs as well. So it's a huge blessing to be able to have this office right here in the Puget Sound area because it's continued to allow me to serve my students at my school and be the husband and father that I need to be for my family as well. I really, really appreciate what everybody's doing and I'm really excited to see this office grow.